We got $5 from Pico's Angel that says, greetings from Germany. I had to donate during one of my favorite games of all time. I love to see the game that gave me so much trouble get destroyed. My pet ferret just lost his battle with cancer, hoping we can keep others from succumbing to this horrible disease. And Pico gave a shout out to Spike Vegeta for his dulcet commentary. Hope they enjoyed the Chick-fil-A. I don't know, that's what they said. That's a $100 anonymous donation from DXX Anthony XXB. Also a $30 and two cent donation from Anonymous that says, we roll in deep now, boys. Excited to see the jump from both runners. Zelfie donated $15 saying, using games to beat cancer is just the coolest thing. Good luck, guys. And speaking of the money we've donated to beat cancer, Thanks to that $20,000 you guys raised, we will be seeing a reverse boss order by Void. That's coming up next. That's something that I know I can't wait to see. A lot of people super pumped about it as well. Then we're going to be getting into the Sonic block. And since he already goes fast, that's going to be a thing to behold. <laughs> We've got $15 from Hilti Spark saying, took me days to finish this game. It's insane to see it broken in under an hour. Thanks to all the runners and people who make this event happen. I couldn't miss this run so much that I'm watching it during class. Hashtag no regrets. We've also got some amazing prizes that you can see scrolling on the screen there. That's that Donkey Kong vinyl. It's a $15 minimum bid to get into that. That's the, right there, that's the King K. Rule statue. Unbelievably detailed. It's a $30 minimum bid to get in there. I still say the Donkey Kong Country vinyl soundtrack, that's just nice to have as a piece of art. The fact that it plays music, that's just a bonus. We've got a $100 donation from Christopher Odd saying, I love the work you guys are doing. This community is absolutely amazing. On behalf of myself and Faustro, thank you for all that you do. We've got a $35 donation from The Lemon Fairy saying Donkey Kong Country 2 was one of my faves as a kid. Had to donate during the run also to try and get that DK vinyl. We had a $150 donation from Electro Swagnetism and did not have any comment. We're going to be taking a quick ad break here before we turn it over to Donkey Kong Country. We'll be back as they get set up for Void's next run. Or maybe not. We've got a $30 donation from Lego Man 727 saying, long time viewer, first time, oh, you know the drill. It was a fantastic Donkey Kong Country 2 race and looking forward to whatever Black Magic Void has in store for DKC1. That's definitely going to be something to see when they get everything set up for the big reverse boss order. Again, in a game that you have to play in order anyway. So how it's going to end up backwards, that's beyond me. We've got a number of great bid wars going on as well. You might want to take a look at some of those. You can donate to Save Oticon or Merrill. Oticon took the lead. It might have been because of that plug during the DKC2 race. 1533 to 1519. Got a feeling that one's going to be close right up until the end. Well, Metal Gear Solid 3, Simichu will sing Snake Eater. That is at 5389 of 7500. There's still some time, but let's go ahead and meet that now. We can move on, meet some of the next incentives. Burnout Paradise, you can choose the time of day. 24 minute days has a one penny lead. It's 90.02 to 90.01 there. And again, you've got until the end of this Donkey Kong block to get in. For some really cool prizes, there's Donkey Kong Country vinyl soundtrack by Unfortunate Face. The artwork is incredible on it. The vinyl itself looks pretty amazing. And, and it plays music. Who'd have thought? 
a handmade King K. Rule Pirate King figurine. You'll see that scrolling by on the screen as well. And, of course, there is the big one. You donate $150 cumulative over AGDQ, and you can be entered to win that eighth generation console bundle. It's got a PS4, Xbox One, and of course, the Nintendo Switch. Pretty awesome prize as well. A $30 minimum donation, you can get entered to win the 2018 AGDQ sketchbook by LLK. Taking a look around at some of the other bid wars that you can get involved in on. You want to bring in some money there. As you can see, $14 separating Merrill and Otakon. But there's also, in Wizards and Warriors, if that donation incentive is met, the category will be changed to all bosses. You talk about some things that could make some of these runs harder, keep these runners up there a little bit longer. That's one of them. You can choose the language in Dying Light, Blood Chew the Chosen, Ophelia versus Caleb. We've got a $30 donation from Wadanto175 saying, sitting here with my coworkers Matt and William, trying to hide our excitement about the upcoming reverse boss order run from our regular boss. There's a $50 donation from Heck Fu, who says he loved Donkey Kong Country growing up, and I feel like I just really need that vinyl and to fight cancer. Dale204 with a $50 donation saying, one more donation, awesome race, and awesome commentary. $30 donation from I Am Gibbon. Love seeing my childhood broken, just like cancer's future. Keep up the good work, everybody. And we've got a $100 donation. I saw something like this earlier. We have a $100 donation from We've Got a $100 Donation. And they say, We've got a $100 donation from We've Got a $100 Donation that says we've got a $100 donation. So thank you very much for that, times four. Somebody trying to break the, break the very close tie here, Radio 47 Fool donates $37. In all caps, with some exclamation points and some ones, save Oticon. <laughs> Plenty of prizes you can still get in on. Fortunately, thanks to your generosity, the $20,000 we're going to be seeing Void do the reverse boss order. Donkey Kong Country Run, fresh off of his win in the DKC2 race. You have until the end of that to donate for the, Owl, or for the Donkey Kong Country vinyl soundtrack, $15 there. And you've got till the end of that block to donate $30 for the handmade King K. Rule figurine. We've got $20 here from Glenn238 saying, always good to watch GDQ. Big shout out to all of you who organized this and to the runners. Lost both of my grandparents to cancer. Hope that one day we can kick cancer's butt. Let's keep GDQ going. Absolutely. I know we're going to keep a GDQ going, keep Donkey Kong going here pretty soon. Then we'll get into the Sonic Block. Awesome games. Blue guy goes fast. They're going to make him go extra fast. $15 from Brian229. I can get behind this. He says, I won't believe it till I see it. Hashtag reverse forever. Putting this to saving Sniper Wolf. Who needs Otakon or Merrill? I'm looking ahead a little bit. There's some pretty cool incentives for Super Mario 3D World that'll be coming up a little bit later today. If met, the extra difficult bonus level Champions Road will be completed after the Super Mario 3D World run. That's a $10,000 incentive. It's at about $3,000. Let me see it get that goal. And there's also a final level character incentive. You can pick the character used in the final level, Great Tower of Bowser Land. Right now, Luigi got about a $500 lead on Toad in second.
We've got $150 from Berserker102 saying, even if it's not met, I'll be singing Snake Eater. Keep up the great work. Keep it up, guys. $200 here from Green Arrows 22 saying longtime supporter just recently lost a family member to cancer hope that one day causes like AGDQ will beat this monster good luck runners money goes to readers choice I don't know what I want And as you can see there, it's a, a mere matter of pennies that are separating Burnout Paradise, choosing the time of day. Actually expanding that a little bit, it's 90.02 for 24-minute days and 90.01 for permanent midnight. And taking a look at some of the other bid wars and things that are going on in the Battletoads Arcade, you can choose the Toad between Pimple, Rash, and Zitz, 90s Attitude, and Turbo Tunnel not required. However, for $10,000, if met, the Mexican runner will attempt to do the infamous Turbo Tunnel while blindfolded during his Battletoads run. That's going to be something to see for sure. Metroid, you've got the suit versus suitless. Will Samus be suited or not? for the Metroid run right now. Don't wear the suit, has a pretty big lead. And of course, thanks to your generosity here, in just a few moments, Void is going to be showcasing the Donkey Kong Country reverse boss order, playing through a pretty linear game backwards. I know we're all excited to see how it is, and some people on the donations, they don't know that they'll believe it even after they see it. We've got a $150 donation from Big Davey Dave saying, Sing, Simichu, Sing. And of course, that's getting closer to its goal. We've got $30 from Jason189 saying, That race was absolutely incredible, and I can't wait to see the Donkey Kong Country reverse boss run. There's no better way to avoid doing work and help fight cancer. Well, Big Davey Dave had donated to have Sumi Chu sing, and that's getting even closer at 5860 now of $7,500. Of course, time's starting to come up on that as well. We've got the whole Sonic block before we get into some Metal Gear Solid, though. So we'll see if we can't meet that. Got a $50 donation from Anonymous saying, Hi from Germany. Reinhardt is my dad's name. He was able to survive his cancer. So I hope that my little donation helps to fight the cancer for everyone. Have fun, everybody. We've got a $100 donation from Dante saying, Dante010192 saying, We must save the queen. $30 donation from Cyberbot X saying long time donator, first time viewer. Wait, that isn't right. Haven't had a chance to donate yet, but figured I might as well. AGDQ 2018 is going amazing just far, just so far. Good luck to everyone on the runs. Putting this toward getting Sumi to sing, 
greetings from the audience. All right, we're going to throw it over to Void. You guys donated for it $20,000. No, everyone is looking forward to it. The reverse boss order run. Void, take it away. Rolling in. What's up, guys? Uh, first of all, thanks for donating. Like, I really appreciate it. Um, this is going to be reverse boss order. If you're familiar with the terminology and have seen the past GDQ runs uh, of Super Metroid and Link to the Past, this is going to be a bit similar to that. The difference is this game is linear. So I'm going to have to do some black magic over here. Um, a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of it. So let me introduce the couch. I have Lumophile on the left, in the middle, Zara the Mant. And on the right, Joe the Rapper underscore. <laughs> and um, big shout outs to Zara the Mant, actually, because one day he was bored, and that's how this category became a thing. True story. Yeah. So in five, four, three, two, one, rolling in. All right, everyone, while well, you're in for a real treat, we've got the black sheep of the DKC categories. This is reverse boss order. And, well, it's going to be pretty crazy. I'm going to try it. We're going to try our best to explain all of what's going to be happening and whatnot. So uh, this is, right now, this is looking really similar to an any percent run, where in any percent, what we do is we uh, do a few wrong warps to make our way to world six and then beat the game. Well, we are going to be doing that. But this is reverse boss order, however, it is impossible to start with K. Rule first. So we have to go to the World 6 boss, make our way downwards, and save K. Rule for last. Alright, so what Void is doing right now is he's setting up the split up glitch. Alright, first try map warp, that's really good. Nice. Good job. So what this, um, so the split up glitch, what we're doing is we're loading Diddy into the game's memory, but, memory, but not properly, and we're take, and we're killing DK. And so now the game thinks that Diddy's out while did well he dies over a pit. The game thinks Diddy's out, even though he's playing as Donkey really. And Donkey's in this glitched state to where if he takes damage, um, the game's gonna try and load Diddy and bring him back like the game would, but Diddy was never loaded properly, so he'll just sit there in his uh, animation forever. <laughs> and that's a soft lock, so and so now what he's doing is, we're, we're going to use a split-up glitch later. What he's doing is he's taking the steel keg and making an invisible object out of it. And what the invisible object will do is it will take the ID of whatever spawns on screen next. And it will change its parameters. And well, what we're going to do is exactly what we do in any percent. We're going to be going to this bonus. We're going to use this invisible object we've created to open that bonus. Therefore, changing that bonus's exit value once. And now we're going to take advantage of the split-up glitch we did earlier, if we can get this right. And perfect. We got both Kongs. We got normal Donkey and Glitch Diddy oh, yeah, to go through go. that bonus at the same time, therefore changing its exit value once again. So we've changed the exit value of that bonus twice, and that sends us to 6-2. And why did we need Espresso for that? Well, it's because Donkey with Invis, can't, he just can't make it to that bonus by himself. So we need help from one of our animal buds to get there. And this is the first of many visits to this level. This level has become super broken thanks to this category. This is pretty much home base because this is where we do all of our other warps to go back to the previous worlds. All right, picking up Donkey here because after this level, we're going to be attempting a frame perfect trick which requires Sacrificing one of our Kongs, which Void will be attempting to do right now. Oh, uh, unfortunate. So it was a little late on the timing. Uh, what we was trying to do is if you get hit like close to a wall, one of your, the monkey you had in front will run up to that wall and jump like infinitely high. For some reason, you're able to store that jump, so, mm. oh, oh unfortunate. Yeah, you store the jump you get, and once you get hit again, you'll shoot infinitely upwards, as long as you're holding B. What he was also trying to do is to combine that with a jump roll, which is a frame-perfect trick where you do a roll on the same frame, you would jump on an enemy, and that just sends you flying forwards in the direction you you were facing. Uh, combining those tricks together gives you a super jump roll where you're basically levitating upwards while doing uh, Diddy's cartwheel. Levitating and cartwheel? Yeah, levitating cartwheel. And that saves about uh, 
I'm around 20, 20 this stage, I think it's 25 yeah, seconds. Yeah, it's like yeah. 20 seconds in this uh, stage, so yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty big, pretty major, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna look like all stages for a little bit, but uh, everything's gonna change once we beat the World Six boss. Well, that's the World Six box. We have a uh, tide. Yeah, that's the real boss, actually. <laughs> 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 that yeah. is, that is yeah, true. true. Yeah. So no really fancy tricks in this stage, just a lot of really good movement, unless it's like semi-dark, you hit these barrels and turn on the lights. But it's just a, I mean, there's no like super jump rolls or anything like that. It's just a lot of really good movement, really tight rolls. Well, there is a super jump roll in this level, but okay. it saves like four, four <laughs> seconds and is like impossible. Yeah, it's not really humanly possible. So it's not worth it, it. yeah. Hey, German roll. Yo, Yo nice. multi-national roll. roll. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Ooh. Personal nemesis of mine right here, tire rolls. You can yeah. land on the end of a tire and then roll off of it. Yeah, like, when you're starting to learn this game, tie rolls are usually one of the things that kill you the most. They're pretty tough, yeah. Thank you. Ooh, nice roll. Nice. All right, that was yeah. pretty decent. So Jelly Rapper mentioned jump rolls earlier. We're going to try to jump roll on the end of this stage. It saves, I think, 12 or so. Uh, it it's varies very, from... very variable on how much it, it all saves. depends on the strats that you do yeah. if you don't get it. Oops. Ooh. Oh. Well, well I, 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 I guess no jump roll. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could uh, die and uh, try no again, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of which, that's actually one thing that's really important for this run that no other donkey category has to deal with is lives management. Yeah, life management. Spoilers: there is one part in this run where we will have to grind for lives, so it's actually rather amusing. So we'll point it out when we get there. But uh, but at this point in the run. Um, like I said, we're going to be starting with a World 6 boss, making our way backwards. You know, World 5, World 4, World 3. Oh, oh, oh. my goodness. I didn't get the extend, though, so I had to bail. Gotcha. Yeah, understandable. And here's the thing. We can't exactly use Funky Kong to take us back to World 1, because we never properly beat World 1. So we're going to have to do some crazy baloney stuff to get our way back to World 1. When we get back to the world map, we'll show you what we're talking about. There's no way to actually go backwards in the world oh. without warping backwards. Yeah. We're out, though. Good job. All right. All right. <laughs> Donkey Rolling platform. Out. Yeah. Pre pretty, pretty scary stuff. All right, are we going to see Optimal Neki too? Uh, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nice RNG. Hey, actually. a low spawn. Hey, yeah, finally hey, a low spawn. Yeah, finally. So this is one of like the very, very few instances of RNG in this game. The boss can either spawn on the top or on the bottom, on left or right. So you have four possible Ooh. outcomes for four different spawns. Yo. The first one's always in the upper left, upper right. Ooh. You want to spawn on the bottom because it's faster to hit him that way. Alright, awesome. So back on the map world map, you see like there were no like there's no trail from world one to world six. Yes, this is where the, the route there. diverges yeah. from any percent. And like there was a, a crumbling face like, at the end, like, which is what you would normally do in any percent. You just go straight to the crumbling face. That's K rule. His ship's not there yet because the game's really confused. He'll be there at the end, though. Right. So we've got a really important jump roll in this stage. Yeah. yeah. The uh, tut frame. Well, there's two of them. One of them saves like 50 something seconds. 55. 55. The second one saves 43. But I'm only gonna go for the second one. Yesterday it was 42. I guess it's 40. <laughs> Oh it's 43 goodness. today. So right here is where you would normally do Creme Tut. That's yeah. a really, really, really difficult yeah, one. Yeah, probably the hardest trick in the game. At least one of them. Nice setup. Ah! Oh. Too early on the Y press. Yeah. Well, I guess now you can do some donations. Hey! Yo, congratulations! Very nice. <laughs> 
Nice consolation prize. Yeah, consolation prize. I was gonna say, yeah. until his wallet's loving this right now, but that, that one counts. Yes, uh, yes, it no, counts. No, it does yes, not count. No, no, it counts. Jump rolls off a tire. It, it counts if we're talking about Antilles' wallet. Jump rolls off a tire are more than a one-frame window. I, I, I don't care, it's Antilles' wallet. <laughs> it is a jump roll. It is a jump roll. There is no denying that. Yeah. All right, we've got a $1,000 donation Whoa. here Woo, from VK203. Nice. All it says is save Resi. <laughs> we got $30 from Nami78 saying, love the DKC series, and this reverse boss run is insane. Keep up all you do, AGDQ. If I may interrupt for a second, Antilles just texted me saying, it counts, confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> We've got $50 from no one 67 saying, been watching VODs from AGDQ for years. This is my first time watching live and first time donating. Can't wait for this Donkey Kong Country run and happy to do my part to fight cancer. All right, so here's where everything gets super crazy. Here's, here's where I'm gonna go ahead and save. Oh, yes, that <laughs> too. We, yes. we have huge soft lock potential coming yeah. up. So, uh, so, I said earlier that Manic Mincers becomes one of the most broken stages, and well, here's what's gonna happen. The split up glitch we did earlier. Basically, what what happens is when it's when it's active, it, um, um, you basically get to control both Kongs at the same time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to set up split up glitch with Diddy this time, and we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna. Now the game thinks Donkey is out, but we're playing as Diddy. And that DK barrel that we're gonna pick up is super important. Diddy's in a glitched state right now. To companion where, barrel. Yes, companion barrel. But Diddy's in a glitched state right now to where if he takes damage, the game's gonna try and bring Donkey into existence, but he wasn't loaded properly. So it essentially soft locks because he'll just sit there in his take hit animation and yeah. do nothing. Like, so whenever, whenever I have the split up glitch active, I cannot take damage. If I do, I soft flog the game. So here's what's going on. We're going to control both of them at the same time. Both of them are playing. Both of them are going to pick up the barrel. One of them's holding a real barrel. One of them's holding invis. They die. Um, the one that's holding invis uh, gets stored into them after they died. And uh, oh, no, we didn't grind for lives. Right. Go we're we're going to grind for lives. Uh, the loom is going to fall away. <laughs> OK, yeah, bonus. Welcome to bonus game. But <laughs> oh, so, oh okay, I, guess, I guess not, yeah. And so that's how we get back to world one. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> oh my, what do we got going on here? He's cutting lives. I'm getting lives. Seems good. Like yeah. the casual. Yeah, the casual. Shouts to the Donkey Festival. Shouts to the Donkey Festival. So, uh, next one, 2020. so pretty much what happened, I, it's, it's a, there's a lot to explain, but uh, yeah, so both Kongs picked up the barrel at the same time. One of them was holding a real DK barrel, and one of them was holding Invis when they both pick go. up the same barrel. And uh, and now and we so die. Oh, yeah. yeah you we can't start selecting out of this stage because it would take you back to Medic Mincers. So yeah, because the game here. still thinks you're in Mincers. Yeah. Actually, it probably would have been better to just finish the level there. No. Because I want to have Solo Donkey for uh, Setup Glitch. Uh. Okay, so uh, we'll, I'll, I'll try explaining the Invis storage glitch and Manic in a little bit. But yeah. pretty much we're going to be going back to the any percent warp. And uh, so now what we need to do is we need to find a way to get to world five without Funky. So of course, we're going to find a crazy wrong warp. Yo, yeah, first try is yet that, again. Is that two first tries? Yeah, yes, two first is. tries. So here's the thing. When Not we did trick. the warp, warp to world six, we had to use the halfway barrel to create an invis barrel. So the game still counts that. The game's uh, the level's halfway beaten, but did he? Um, so we need to actually beat this level because we need that halfway barrel again to create another invis barrel. And yeah. he can't take any damage because he's in this uh, glitched split up state right now. And so this was the bottleneck of reverse boss order for the longest time um, because nobody knew how to do this until I just got really bored one day hanging out at home in May of 2016. I'm all like, you know what, let's try messing around with this game. And I accidentally found the wrong warp to World 5. And I told everyone on Discord and we hopped to at that moment, so. Yeah, that was fun. That was, that was super cool. Oh, and that, that Invis storage glitch that was found in Manic, that was found the same day, so. Yeah, so you were really bored that day. Yeah. So, so how, how he wrong warped to World 6 was, he had to release the invis at a certain point. We're going to be doing that, but this is a three-frame window, and if you mess it up, things are super bad. Here we go. 
Ah, uh, that's not gonna get it. That's not gonna work. Yeah. I think that was uh, too... No, I just I just walked into the entrance. Oh, I didn't even think about that part. I always, yeah. I always if, think if, of... if that happens, you always warp towards you. So what I'm have, gonna have to do is just beat the stage and try again. It's like maybe a minute lost, but like at least I can try again and like I'm not soft locked or anything. Uh, split up which is still active though. Well, I'm not soft locked yet. That's true. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for encouraging, Zara. Mm. <laughs> hey, I'm just more or less a reminder. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so we kind of ended up using the halfway barrel for that one attempt. So we need to go ahead and beat the yeah, level. Yeah, that's why you have to beat the level. Yep, and re-enter it. Yeah. So the cool thing is that because I can start select in, in the bonus, I still have split glitch active, so I don't have to like waste time setting it up again. True. Yeah. And as long as I don't stop luck, I can try this as many times as I want. Hopefully, I'm only gonna I'm only gonna have to try this one more time because right. uh, this is a speed run. Mm -hmm. If Twitch chat can spam bless RNG, that would be really helpful. Raise your void praise. Yeah, void pray as well. All right, take two. That's not gonna work either. Uh, All right. Now you can spam baby rage. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine, we're here all day. Uh, more donations. You got it. Well, Akira Katayama donates $30 and says, gotta say, that was an amazing DKC2 race. Good job to both runners. There's a lot of back and forth during the run. May all this week's races be exciting. Also, put this money to ensuring that Sumichu gets her croon on. Got a $20 anonymous donation that says, DKC took up most of my childhood, so I have to donate during this block. Runner's choice, where this goes. $50 from Q-Strike, saying I lost my grandmother two years ago to cancer. She would have had a better chance to beat it if it had been detected earlier. Here's a donation to make sure early, detect early detection becomes the standard instead of a woulda, coulda, shoulda for everyone else. Uh, Good luck to all I the doing? runners. All right, there we go. <laughs> Saved it. Yeah. Nandayan donates $20 and says, gotta get in for a chance at that DKC vinyl. And here I am scratching my noggin about how the reverse boss order is actually gonna work. And guess we're about to find out. Donation goes to Void's Choice. All right, bless RNG. The run is really, really front heavy in terms of like difficult tricks and stuff like between all the jump rolls and also all the warps. There's one difficult one like when you go back to World 2, but that's like the last hard thing. No, come on. Hmm. Void come on. Void come on. Yeah. So another thing that we haven't touched on is there's a DK barrel immediately. <laughs> Thanks, guys. There's this DK barrel right here that he has to go under because if he touches that, he break it open and get Diddy back and then he'd have both Kongs active. He actually do pretty interesting stuff if you have both Kongs and an animal body. If you have more donations, by all means. Absolutely. Infero donated $100. Didn't include a comment with it. And I do want to remind you, we've got some awesome prizes that are up for grabs during the Donkey Kong block. Of course, we have the uh, Donkey Kong Country vinyl soundtrack by Unfortunate Face. Amazing artwork on it. Looks really cool. And it's also the soundtrack that's a $15 Minimum bid donation for that. Also, the handmade King K. Rule Pirate King figurine. You might have seen a couple pictures of it going by. It is incredibly detailed, very amazing figurine. That's going to take about $30 to get entered for that one. Keep you updated on some of the bid wars, different things we've got going on. Save Merrill and Save Otakon is still close. 1979 to 1806 in favor of Saving Merrill. The I think that's good. good. I think that's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. So we have to do a dual exit here. You can both cars. We want them to exit at the same time, like that. We got it. Yes. Got
So that warped us to 5-3, uh, elevator antics. And uh, yeah, um, that's a cool trick. That was the bottleneck of RBO because uh, first off, we didn't have a way to wrong warp back to world one. And so, and then we didn't have a way to wrong warp to world five. And so yeah, both of those are found and that's super cool. This category is a thing. So now and it's like all stages again. Yeah, like 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 he just said, it's gonna yeah. be all stages for a little bit. Let's, let's pause the glitch exhibition for a second. I think this stage, like for me personally, is like top contender for hardest to optimize in this whole run. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah, uh, doing the uh, this stage optimally has like several tricks with like. Well, there's one with a two-frame window that is like... All right, Poison Pond is uh, the hardest uh, water level to not get hit in, at least. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because the hardest escapers. Yes, that's for sure. Yeah. That's the hardest level in the game. Yes. But yeah, like, as long as I know like where to launch with the fish, I should be fine. You can't, uh, you can't let Nathan down, though. I um, think I'm gonna have to let Nathan, Nathan down. Oh, That's man. unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Nate. So there was a strat there that I could have done. It's called triple clip. So like, I could have launched with uh, Engard a little bit sooner and clipped the first mincer. It saves like about a second, but if you lose your fish, you lose your fish forever. So like, ha ha have fun for the rest of the stage. Right. All right, so for Hentilis' wallet, I'll try to get this. All right, good luck. trick here Thank called you. rolling through air. So you swap your cons. You can have to run into the minecart. You can't jump, you can't roll. You hit your donkey there, and then now you can, you're can. you on land, so you can roll, but you can also jump out of any roll. And so the, the game always thinks you're... Going back for it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> the punish, it, dude, the punish. So the game thinks you're on land, so you can roll, and you can jump out of any roll, but it like thinks you're constantly on land, so you can still like, keep rolling and jumping and rolling and jumping infinitely until you go over land again, like real land. Um, and any time that you can land on an enemy and roll off the enemy at the same time, you can get a jump roll, so he's going for it. Hey! <laughs> so now he's not actually doing anything. Like, he doesn't have to hold the controller right now. Yeah, but eventually he's gonna have to, he's gonna run into a B, he's gonna have to roll in the air. Jump to, out of it, yeah. yeah. Two. Eventually you get out of no, because I got the jump roll. Like I, eventually you get out of the uh, air roll glitch. Yeah, like right, right here. here, yeah. Because that's technically considered land again, so then you lose the rolling through air glitch. So you actually have to play to the minecarts. Yeah. Which actually has a few optimizations, but it's nothing like major. Yeah. Basically, you just do these tire rolls here. Did you have trouble jumping on over those three Bs as a kid? A little bit. <laughs> Me too. I still do. <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay. Good stage. All right. So that was a pretty stuff stage. Yeah. Blackout basement. Yeah. Enjoy the stage. This is uh, this is one of my favorites personally. It's a treat. Yeah. It's right here. Two four frame windows in the dark. You can do a mega roll. Um, shout out to Peachy. Shout out to Peachy. Shout out to Nay. Oh yeah, he also thinks that's free, right? He does it in races. Well... Omega's free if your TV's bright enough. <laughs> <laughs> True. So important to note, we're actually playing on the uh, USA 1.0. Uh, while 1.0 and 1.1, that, that, that was a good level. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. 1.0 and 1. Good are one. Wow, pardon me. <laughs> wow, 1.1 are good for categories like any percent, all stages, 101. Whereas you definitely want to stay from 1.2. Uh, there, there's very few differences between versions 1.0 and 1.1. It's just I don't know why they changed up some stuff uh, with wrong warps and stuff. They changed stuff with stuff and stuff. 
Well, yes. That, that, that's what you said, right? So he wants to sacrifice Diddy here because he wants to do this next war with Donkey. Well, you don't want to sacrifice Diddy, you want to swap. But... No, you want to sacrifice him. Oh, you want, yeah, yeah, I'm mixing up yeah. the categories, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, have to go, we have to go back to Manic after this. You don't get uh, freeze frames when you lose a Kong on boss fights, so you ideally want to sacrifice them on boss fights. All right, awesome. So back to Manic we go. <laughs> Just like Donkey. Uh, I think I'm gonna go save just because you have to play Minsters with Donkey. Oh, goodness, and yeah. if you're Donkey, you're dead in this game. So anytime your Donkey is scary. Yeah. So since you saved, are you obviously gonna do the uh, double Minster jump? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want me to show off what happens when you are doing the split up glitch and you get hit. That's your run. Nah. So we're setting it up. Yeah. So that sprite that you saw right there as he fell into the pit, that's basically what just sits there forever. Mm -hmm. If there's not pit, if there is like land beneath you, just like sit there, you're soft locked. So, so that's why you have to die and fall into a pit. So we actually need Donkey for this one because uh, of how we're going to deal with... Oh mm. my goodness. I think I'm just going to restart. Eh, fair enough. Yeah. So right there, he had both Kongs, he was controlling both Kongs. You roll, you jump, you move left and right with both of them at the same time. And since they move at different paces, it's very difficult to control both of them. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, we're going to want uh, DK to manage in the invisible object because of how we're going to deal with opening the bonus. Um, from what you guys have seen in this run, all the, every time that we've opened the bonus with invisible object, we just had DK throw it, throw the invisible object by releasing Y. But the, the, the exit value of the bonus can, can change depending on which Kong is de holding in. Ooh depending on which Kong is holding invis and how they let go of the barrel. It can change It can change if you release it by getting hit by an enemy, setting it down, getting hit while setting it down, jumping off of an enemy, all that kind of wonderful stuff. So 1.0, which is what he's playing on right now, the warp to uh, Torchlight, which is where he's going, yeah. is actually like relatively free. There's like 10 different ways you can do it, honestly. You can set it down, you can throw it from the top. So he just sets it down. So he sets down in this. And here we are, halfway in Torchlight. Good job. Suddenly, you have to play the... Uh yeah. The rest of the torchlight with squawks, which causes a lot of lag. Yeah, is, two is Kongs this, and squawks is bad. Is this the first time this squawks has been in a GDQ? I would not be surprised. Uh, a good question, actually. Oh well. Yes, I want to say yes. Yeah. If I'm thinking so. We gotta, we gotta. Are we gonna go for the SJR? Very yeah, of course. I'll right try here. to. Yeah. Yo. This is a pretty recent discovery. Shout out yeah. to Fathlo. And rainbow sprinkles. Yes. And rainbow sprinkles. So just like in Tank Dog Trouble, where he got a jump roll rolling off of the tire, it's the same, same principle here. Oh, oh my goodness! Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh well. This stage is cool platforming though, so you guys will enjoy regardless. Lots of cool tire rolls. Lots of cool places you can skip cycles and stuff. All right, coming up here, he's gonna face to the left so that he can manipulate the camera and have that uh, tire platform spawn uh, at a later time, and that'll let him skip Ooh, the uh, nice. the V's there. Yeah, so we got both cycle skips there. It's real good. Yeah, especially when you have to pick up Donkey in the middle, makes it harder. So. And nice back boost. Wow, awesome Not back bad. boost. And so we're gonna do a pretty cool strat in this boss where we skip a whole cycle of him. This fight's so clean in this category because you go Ooh, up in the fat look hey. Yo, fat look corner. So the boss jumps one, two, three. Uh, I guess we're not skipping cycle. Man. That's fine. All right, all stages fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go for ODA. <laughs> no. Shout out to rolling into the fire. <laughs> So now we're gonna take another trip back to Manic. But, however, we're not, we are gonna do some crazy stuff in Manic. 
However, we have no way to directly wrong warp to world. All right, so three. see right oh, here, wow. the barrel, the DK barrel is not here because, how do you explain it to me, Lumo? Like, the game still thinks you're in Mincers yeah, so after the world four warp. This yeah. is as it was told to me by Rainbow Sprinkles. Shout out to Rainbow. So after worlds three and four, the game thinks that you're still in Mincers. You haven't left it, apparently. And that's why the DK barrels aren't there because you already used it to get into the invisible, the, to the uh, warp before. Yeah. So yes, it starts like to respawn barrels. So yeah, we have no direct way to wrong warp to world three. So, so that's why. We're, so, we're just going to go back to world one instead. We'll deal with it when we get there. Oh yeah, also worth noting, like I'm never grabbing the halfway in this stage because like I'm visiting so many times. And then every time you come back, you would come in at halfway. Yeah. You'd have to beat it again. All right. So. Ah, I missed it again, dude. That's fine. So here's what's going to happen. Now we're back in 1-1, but we cannot start select out of it. If we do that, we'll go back to Manic. So we have to purposefully die. <laughs> All right, three for three on map warp first try. Let's go. Ah. Uh, uh, so now we're going to do this. Okay. Uh, we're gonna that's, that's so pretty bad. good. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do the map warp glitch. However, we can't start select out after of it. After map warping, oh. yeah. Yeah, after map warping. Even though I beat this stage, yeah. I cannot start select out of it. Exactly. Yeah. So we have to purposefully die yet again. All right, so who donated for Donkey on Engard? <laughs> Nobody? Uh, Free treat. Come on. So I guess one of the things like map warp that we didn't explain before, we've done it three times, we haven't even talked about it. So you're, there are four corners between uh, two different stages in World 1, and they're only in World 1 on the overworld. And when you have a solo Kong or both your Kongs in Funky's Flight Barrel, um, you can you stop there for one frame, and if you're pressing a face button on that one frame, then the game like thinks you're on a level entrance, so it tries to send you into a level, but it doesn't like have anywhere to send you to, so it just is like, oh, I don't know, I guess I'll throw you in O-Gang, so yeah. you end up in O-Gang. So after... Uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, it's a little early. So after World 3, one one Warp back to World 2, we use Diddy to warp back to World 2, so ideally, again, we sacrifice Donkey here. Ah, uh, that's fine. We're, we're, sac we're sacrificing Donkey. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Because we have to go back to Manic again. And this one's different on 1.1, right? Ah, uh, yep, this is one of the warps that's different That's different between 1.0 and 1.1. This fight is impossible when you miss a cycle, for real. Oh, yeah, really? It really is. Really <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's World 3 down. So yeah, coming up is like arguably the hardest wrong warp I have to do. Yep, this one's probably as difficult as World 5. Yeah. I'm just gonna start select real quick to respawn the DK barrel, because just like for the World 4 wrong warp, if you do the World 3 wrong warp, then uh, the DK barrel doesn't show up. So this is so for this wrong warp, we're actually gonna have Diddy maintain the invisible object, and we have a what, two or three frame window to release in this? I have no like idea. It's short. Nobody's yeah. actually done like timing on it or anything. Nobody's done science on it, but it seems like it's like a two framer. And yeah. There's really like no good visual cue for it because what you're supposed to do is you drop the invisible barrel as you get hit by a crusher, and the crusher like sort of saunters back and forth, and like his hitbox varies based upon like how he's walking towards you. So you have to kind of like align yourself at the same point and just like, I don't know, pray basically. Void pray? Void pray. Right. So. So here we go. We're gonna have. We're gonna open the. We're gonna open the bonus. Diddy's invis. We're gonna have. Diddy needs to get hit while setting this down. This is the two frame window. Oh, that looked good. Nah, I think that was too early. I don't know. That looked pretty good. Well, we're about to find, find out. out yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh my uh, goodness. That's okay. fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. So since we since we wrong warped out of Manic Mincers, so when we start selected there, it takes him back to Manic Mincers. So that's yeah. like kind of like it's a double edged sword. Another reason why you don't want to grab the uh, halfway barrel, actually. Yeah. When this category first came into existence, we used to take that DK barrel to like near the end of the level. 
Yeah. The, the old warp method was so yeah. bad. Yeah. Those were good days. Not only was it bad, but it was really slow. Yeah. Yeah, true. Shout out to Fathlo. Again, Fathlo was bored and he found a bunch of threats and he became meta. True. Shout out to Fathlo. So I guess this, this category gets improved by like boredom. <laughs> I mean, there's a what? Like whole five runners? Uh, yeah. Me, you, Zara, Fathlo, Peachy. Yeah. Eason said he would learn it like in 20XX. <laughs> Uh, that was too late, I think. So this should send us to either 1-1 one, one or 1-2, one, since we messed it up. Yeah, yep, there you go, 1-2. That, that's 1-2. Yeah, that's 1-2. See what, you, see you, 1-2. <laughs> yeah, that's what we don't want. Yeah. I don't think I'm alive soon. Yeah, next time we go to 1-1, one, one, I'm going to be picking up some lives. Uh, I'm not going to go back to 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Ideally. I mean, if you accidentally... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For uh, sure. Oh, right. Well, I think if I mess it up again, I'll just go ahead and save. All right. Yeah. Fair. Honestly, though, this warp is really, really hard. I swear this has killed more runs for me than the elevator warp, which is, as confirmed by TAS, three frames, so. Yeah. But yeah, trying to perform this uh, wrong warp is a little bit different on 1.1 because... Yeah, if you're playing on 1.1, actually, you don't even have to worry about this warp. Yeah, because that's that one's just as simple as Donkey setting yeah. down invis. Yeah, the pro the problem is when you do the World Five warp, you have to play Torchlight entirely, which is slower. Oh, the World Four. The world four. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Also, the warp to Torchlight is more difficult, is it not? Just uh, a little bit more. Yeah. I think that was too early as well. Come on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's let's form lives. <laughs> Lives at a speed run. I know, right? At a donkey speed run. <laughs> I thought you'd never. Yeah. Well, I mean, both things that I expected to go poorly went poorly, so I mean, we're, we're in there. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much as expected, just because they're really, really difficult. Yeah, things. yeah. Good setups for this trick so much, but you can like kind of tell like when you've gotten it, like you know, like if you yeah. get like the like small screech from Diddy, it like stops itself like prematurely. Um, then you know like you did it right. I uh, just look at this animation. Well, actually. I mean, yeah, there's like a couple different ways to tell. Yeah. Like yeah. after you've already done it though, it's mm -hmm. unfortunately you don't have like rewind five seconds. Yeah, safe states. Yeah. All right, this is like good. That. Yeah, this is good. Like that really, really small cool. Yeah, this is good. So that's good. Yeah. And so that takes us yeah. to hey. halfway to two, three. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Are we grabbing yes. 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 Yeah. Arguably awesome. the most useful. So I hope everyone here loves Winky the Frog and worships him. And see him. Okay, no. bye-bye. Jabated. <laughs> 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 Nathan 3 Winky. Nathan 3 Winky, indeed. <laughs> He's uh, the only animal buddy that actually sees no use in any speedrun. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he's the best animal buddy. Are you sure about that? 100%. Okay. 101%? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. So again, just like all stages, pretty much, you're just going through uh, the rest of the worlds. Uh, until we finish this world, then I had to warp back to uh, World 1. But the warp back to World 1 is actually different from the one that we've done before because we actually warp back to 1 3, so we don't have to beat uh, 1 2. Oh, so here's the super gl uh, super jump glitch, by the way. So you see Donkey jumps off the top of the screen like that. That stores a super jump, so when we get him back, as long as you hold B right there, you just go up infinitely. There's a Donkey only accessible warp barrel right there. Yeah. Normally, you're supposed to do what we call tire over gap. You go further to the right, you get a tire, and it's really, really difficult. So that saves a whole bunch of time. Yeah, thank God and tire if, over gap is dead. Yeah, if you, if you run Donkey and you know about tire over gap, you know tire over gap sucks. It does. Uh, hey, optimal sacrifice. Yeah, optimal. 
Yeah. Um, so we have to make one more, hopefully, one more trip back to Manit. Yo, nice bird RNG, by the way. Yo, that was really good actually. boss fight, too. Yeah. The fight was good, the RNG was not. So yeah, the RNG was pretty bad. He had yeah. three out of four top spawns, so not ideal. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, we gotta take one more trip back to Manic because now we need to finish World One. Also, K. Rule ship is still not there. True. Yeah. Where is he? He doesn't show up until you beat uh, World One, I guess. Yeah. He's not worth your time. Not worth it. <laughs> so anytime you do the World Two warp successfully, then you just have this huge sigh of relief because everything after that is pretty much free. Like mm -hmm. all yeah. the rest of World Two is easy. You do super jump, which really isn't that hard. You do. Uh, Warp through, a well, um, uh, stop and go, and then you come back here. I mean, fingers crossed you don't soft lock on your last wrong warp. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another wrong warp where we're going to have Diddy uh, handle Invis. This one's absolutely free though. Fun. Yeah, this one's yeah. actually free. So the way it's gonna work out is I'm gonna <laughs> jump with Diddy so that uh, hello. All right, there we go. So now what Diddy's going to do is So now Diddy is holding the Invis and What the hello? He's actually holding the crusher right now. Crusher, please. So So what if I throw? What's gonna happen? You're gonna throw uh, the that's crusher. That's gonna send you to one two. No, if he Are throws, he's gonna yeah. throw the crusher. He doesn't have the barrel. Wait, what? He threw uh, the crusher. Oh, yeah. so okay, so that's so that's that's roughly what I expected. So the Adiz got messed up and he was actually holding go the crusher there <laughs> and not holding <laughs> the, the invisible barrel. So we spawned the IDs a little bit wrong there. Yeah. yeah, he was too far to the right when he swapped Kongs, so his invisible object was actually the Crusher. So he threw the Crusher at himself. It's kind of a fun part immediately after that. You can actually hold one of the mincers and then throw it and it spins really, really fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. If, we have, if we have time, I'd like to have Void show that off. I don't know how to do it. You just go back and forth until you hold the mincer. Oh, okay. One extra life. Uh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. No more monkeying around. No more half stepping. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, this is a wrong warp where Diddy needs to handle the invis, but. Uh, the bonus is going to be opened by the bonus. Well, the invis is going to be released by Diddy just standing still, taking damage yeah. instead of like throwing the throwing it or setting it down. And so there, there you go. we go. So all you do is just get hit while you're holding the invis. So we've been going back to uh, one one all this time. Oh How god, I have zero lives. You, oh, can actually, oh. you can actually end with negative one lives. <laughs> so if he died right here, he would actually game over on everyone. Yeah, play. now I'm spooked. All right. Let's kill this guy. So yeah. Right, we're, we're, we're in the clear, we're in the clear. <laughs> so we just wrong warped to uh, two thirds of the way through one three, instead of going back to one one. All right, now we're in the hardest level in the game. The Coral hardest Capers. level in the game. Unironically, the hardest level in the game. Okay, so the whole joke is because since Coral Capers is in the first world, you know, that's where you're gonna reset the most. And the easiest place to lose time in world one is in Coral Capers. So we just like- Because it's a water stage. Because it's a water stage. Yeah, water stage so. So uh, basically, like, fish. a huge amount of your resets is going to be in Coral Capers, so we just joke that it's the hardest stage in the game. Especially because this clip right here is okay. pretty, uh... Good yeah, clip. tedious. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so you got that extra life blue, now you're safe. Now, you, if you, uh, screw up in 1-5, we're fine. Yeah, but, like, I guess the only place where I can die now is k -Roll. Are you going to be giving your shoutouts to PRS? <laughs> You would have to watch my stream for that. <laughs> right. So yeah, not much going on in 1.5. I'm just gonna take this uh, warp barrel. Really yeah, subtle, but it's actually faster if you hold uh, Y and right when you're getting shot by the barrels. No major skips. Yeah, shout out to no major skips. Shout out to the, the major skips. The new hot thing in uh, the DKC community.
Yup. Hard level. Oh, bananas. And now for the hardest boss in the game. Thank you. It is it is the hardest boss, actually. Yeah, honestly. Don't blink. I won't make any John Tron references this time. <laughs> see? Oh, well. See? See? <laughs> yup. Hardest boss. Bodied. So everyone, you have just seen how you can complete all six of the bosses in reverse order. Now we have to go fight K. Rule. Now you have hey, ship K. Rule. His ship's here. He's arrived. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot of optimization for this other than just hitting him on the first frame that he's vulnerable. And what we, we call it crownless because he's like crownless hits. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that was a little come too on. That was yeah. a little a uh, little too crownless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So ideally, you never see him actually throw his crown, but it gets, a, it gets spooky when you only have one crown. It's especially, especially tricky on uh, this phase because he sort of waits for a while. So you have to watch his hands yeah. to see when he's gonna throw. <laughs> so it's really just the basic one two three one two three one two three pattern for the whole fight. He uh, runs back and forth one two three times. He does one two three lines of cannonballs. Rare is not very good at designing bosses. No, they uh, definitely uh, improve throughout the trilogy, though. True. Hey, and and it's, over. And it's over. Yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah over. that's it. Uh, see you guys later. Uh, <laughs> nice run. Look at these credits. Wonderful credits. Why, why is the timer still running? What? What? What is going yeah, on? Yeah, the timer's still running. <laughs> Wait, the end? Yeah, it's over. The end? <laughs> the end. Come on. The end. Wait, what's with the question mark? Oh, wait. He's, he's getting dead? back up? What? <laughs> he wasn't actually dead. I can't believe it. Why was this game coded by a claptrap? No, sometimes, you know, that's not really that unbelievable. Don't die. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? You ready on time? And now it's actually and time. And time! Everybody give this man a follow just because twitch.tv slash V0OID. Without a doubt, a really speed run. A really speed run. Shout outs to Cruiser. Yep. Shout outs to Fireball. <laughs> and I mean I guess I guess, um, I guess we're done. Donkey got his yeah. bananas back and we're ready to roll out. Shout outs to Tampa for uh well, I guess he found he found the World Five Wrong Warp first, but he didn't tell any of us because we thought we there was no use for it. He has this script on uh, the internet somewhere of a list of all the possible wrong warps in the game, and World Five was listed as one of them, and so that was kind of my determination for finding it. And I had nothing better to do that day. Oh, before so. we forget, let's plug the wiki, uh, dkcspeedruns.com. Mm -hmm. We also have a Discord server, and everybody's really nice in there. And like, yeah, definitely I, worth joining yeah, if you're yep. interested in these games. Any of the three games in the original trilogy, we have strategies for all, like all of them. You just, uh, just like say, hey, like I'm new to the community, I'm trying to learn this run. Like anyone will help you. Also, shout outs to the uh, Chilean boys doing the Spanish restream. KBZ and Guts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're doing commentary. And one one cool. more, um, shout outs to Garrison. He find he found the one glitch where uh, you can pick up the barrel at the same time with both Kongs and split up glitch. And I thought and so I guess if it wasn't for him, this uh, if, this run also wouldn't be possible. A lot of things coming together just perfectly. Alright, I think we're good. I believe so. Alright. Thanks for watching. All right, let's hear it for Void, for the DK, 
the DKC2 race and reverse boss order. And I do have to let you know, Void, we did get a $40 donation from Antilles58. He said, eh, I'll make, it, I'll make it $20 per jump roll. So we went ahead and doubled those up. Now we do have an ad break here. We're going to go ahead and throw it to that, and then we will be back in just a second. 